get a life with always we get a life, man. Not sure you come from the ghetto, that no. That no, that no really determine the future. Come remember. Up move. Well, go and view a subscriber. There we do update for them. So finally reach a Jackie Saga. Yeah, we have Jackie side of the story on a voice note. And we also have the two girls them doing an interview. I give for them side of the story on what takes place with them and Jackie or anyway. Look on the video my peeps we so come. Seven years ago, almost to be exact, this happened. A friend of mine sent this video to me years ago and tell me that to be careful and I explained to him what happened. These girls that came here, how I met them the first time is that one of them got beat up by some dancers, some street dancer guy who said that she mixed him up with his wife and he beat her so bad. They reached out to me as a friend that I know a long time and I put them up, show them love, they flew out. If I never showed them love, they wouldn't ask me to come back here. And I show them love on a brotherly terms. But they know people in Jamaica. They've been coming to Jamaica like four or five times. Remember, she was talking to a dancer and then they know artists. So in that time of grief, when they were hurt about the situation, I'm sure they send the video to maybe a couple or a few or maybe one Jamaican friend, who knows. But it was there all this time. But it just leaves me to figure that it seems like now it, you know, fall into one of the hands of someone that would really like to terminate you, you know, in you know, every way they can. You know, them social media warfare that them set up out there for fight. You know, them, these are them little trick where them pull. Yeah, because everyone have them private life. And you don't know. You and someone in an argument, and someone a video you without you knowledge is a form of setup and a blackmail. You feel me? Yeah, because I was always good to them. That was the only that was the only bad moment. Me and them share from the time they were here in Jamaica. I show them so much love and take care of them. It's just because I've realized things missing on my house, valuable items and and, 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 and some cash. And I asked about it, and it caused some vibes, and we just start talking about all the different things. So I said, yeah, I'm grateful. Just came back my ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah, plus I, I'm not fucking even either them either. I know it's wrong to talk to them the way I was talking to them. And I definitely apologize for that in myself. But deeply... They know I didn't mean anything because I didn't touch them. Yeah, viewers, subscribers, so that a jack your side of the story. So, we could hear the two girls, they must say about for them side of the story, you know, because we have to get both opinions from both sides. So, we can make our opinion, my viewers and subscribers, because this situation really don't look good. But anyway, we're getting a for them side. And them tight little shorts, and he looked like he might have some some things going for him. So I mean, I wouldn't have been I've opposed. Heard to that. Him. I've, I've heard that he has. So I'm like, I wouldn't like, it, I wouldn't have been opposed to it if he would have been like, you know, if we would have got drunk and came back and did it. But it was when he told me that we had to that it would have became an issue. Okay. So, and what did and I he, hear? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was like, he didn't. I don't think he was ever like interested in me. Like he was always interested in my friend. Like when we would go out, like he'd want her to be in the front seat and stuff. But did all the communicating through me, so I don't really. You no. Know. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in the video, it said something like. There was a part where you were saying that he he did something to you. I couldn't quite make it out. And then he was like, I should have broke your hand or something like that. Like, what was up with that? So what made me film was he, what made him so angry? I think, okay, so he asked my friend to eat his ass and she was like, what the hell? Like, I'm not touching you after last night and that's gay. And he lost it. He like pushed her into the wall and then came over. I was like, don't hit her. So I went to go and grab him from hitting her. And he like, he punched you in the stomach. Oh yeah, he punched me in the stomach and then like kind of forearmed me in the cheekbone, but like not a, like a, a like a forearm. 
And then, and that's when I stepped in, and that's when I was trying to like stop him from hitting you. He was chasing you around the room. Right. So like the, the difference of size is I'm like five zero, like one hundred and twenty pounds. You know, I'm small, so I think that's why he hit me instead of her because she's like five nine, a little bit bigger. So I think he, yeah, he, he knew he knew who his match was. He knew he knew who to go for. Right, right. And, and Jamaica, so, they definitely know who if you're frightened. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, so, and a lot of people were like, why didn't you guys just jump him? So he had two of his cousins there, and they were just standing at the door. Like, um, he said that they had guns. I never actually seen a gun, but so we were just like, you know, they probably fucking do. It's Jamaica. Yeah. Well, and we, as the Ethiopian girls, they were, they were trying to leave, right? So we're packing our stuff while he's freaking out after we had this whole altercation. And we tried to leave. And he had all the doors locked, like every door was locked. We couldn't get out. And he had his cousin sitting outside the house watching. Yeah, and the weird part about his house is all of the locks were like key locks, like even from the inside. Like if you go like yeah, from the inside. That's, the normal. Outside. that's a normal Jamaican house thing. My house yeah, is Jamaican. Yeah. Like that same thing. Yeah so, yeah, so it was like we couldn't leave even like, and the windows had bars, so we couldn't like climb out of a window. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And then even at one point, like when he took her, like he, she finally was like we have to like he like was threatening us like just in the video it was just like a like a glimpse. yeah he was like saying he was gonna break my hand and kill me he was never mad at her um as much as he was at me but so finally she was like i'm just gonna go have sex with him then he'll let us leave like he's not gonna make us pay for the flights mm -hmm. and i was like you don't have to and she's like no we're never gonna get out of this no, house like i felt I, I basically felt forced into it like i it i felt threatened there was there was no way he was gonna let us leave and i feel like that was my ultimatum it was like that was the only thing that would protect us in that whole situation and i i didn't know what else to do so wait he, he came up to you and just asked you yeah if you are a subscriber boy and i look good for none of them side you know but Jack, your need for come address this situation, yeah, you know? Definitely not look good on fame side either. Yeah. Like, subscribe and share. If you haven't subscribed to Yard Vibes TV yet and always remember like up the video so YouTube can send out the video to other viewers.